I'm here to talk to you today about something very, very important. There's addiction in your own home going on right now. And I'm not talking about the opioid crisis. I'm talking about binge watching. Streaming has changed the nature of media because cliffhangers aren't just things that they do at the season finale anymore. If you want to curb your binge watching, stop the episodes in the middle. Like right when some subplot has fully developed. When one of those tiny story arcs ends and you feel somewhat satisfied by what you've watched, turn it off then. Because I can guarantee you, by the time you reach the end of the show, it's gonna be like McDonald's french fries. And I don't mean the current french fries. I mean back when they used to make them with animal lard, when they really were good. Like, crazy addictive good. Apple's gonna start producing content soon. It's just another tributary feeding into this giant river of content that you can watch all night and then be late to work the next day and then maybe lose your job and then actually end up binge watching things all the time because you don't have to go to work anymore. It sounds a lot like opiate abuse, doesn't it? This is what we call a downward spiral. And it doesn't matter if it's opioids or McDonald's french fries or your Netflix subscription. It's all the same. You could get rid of your internet, but that's how you contact most of your friends. That's probably how you met most of your friends. And it's the only way you really get news and information from the outside world, other than what you happen to overhear at work, or what people yell at you on the freeway, or when you're waiting in line at McDonald's. <sighs> Lard. Yeah, I don't know what your brand is. Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, doesn't matter, they're all the same. If you're binge watching, you're probably disrupting something. Maybe you need to eat, and it's been like two days. Maybe you need to go to the bathroom and it's been like four days. Diapers are not the answer. You need to stop watching. You have some basic necessities that need to be addressed. Showering. Teeth brushing. These are important. Thanks again to the Patreon members. And if you want to support us, we have a link below. And if you don't, just go back to Netflix. The bottom line is Netflix. It's the opioid addiction that you pay by the month. Hulu. If they sold it by the gram, the FDA would probably be involved. Amazon. Does anybody watch Amazon? Or do we all just get it because of the free shipping with Prime? I don't know. I use my brother's free shipping account. So cheap. You knew that was coming.